The story you're about to witness can only be described as bleak. Rachel is a frustrated teacher and her peer coach Will is of no help. For some of you, this scenario may seem familiar and if so, we're sorry for bringing back any painful memories. If not, consider yourself fortunate. I had everything all planned out. I thought I had my bases covered, but then when you throw technology into the mix, everything just goes wrong. Why is that? <sighs> because nobody listens, and devices don't work the way that they're supposed to, and everybody needed my help at the exact same time, and I can't be everywhere at once. Well, doesn't that mean you probably haven't prepared adequately for the lesson? No, I really tried. I just can't anticipate everything that could possibly go wrong. But what am I supposed to do? Abandon instruction, just teach technology, and then not anything else in my lesson? I was supposed to be addressing the depth of the standard. So you're saying you don't understand what standard you're supposed to be teaching? I hope nobody was observing you today. That's not what I mean. I mean that I need a way to integrate my technology instruction with my regular standards-based instruction in, in one lesson. Maybe my lesson plans are the problem. Probably. Have you tried Kahoot? A, a Kahoot? About what? I don't know, just a Kahoot. They're fun. <sighs> Look, I don't know how this is supposed to help me teach better. I'm just mad. I probably need to just go and cool off. Then don't Kahoot. I'm just trying to help. How about this? How about I stay here and vent for a little bit and then go back to my classroom, catch up on the dozens of emails that I have missed today. You really think that venting would be the most effective use of our time here? No. Have you tried pictures in Kahoot? This horror show has gone on long enough. How could this meeting have gone differently? Well, for starters, they're not using the standards to plan activities and they have no clear objective. This scene looks better already. Now you're gonna see how a peer coaching meeting should look. Today was the worst. I thought I had everything planned out, I had it all set up, but when you throw technology in the mix, everything just goes wrong. Let's take a look at the peer collaboration reflection from last week, and we can review the goals that you set for your lesson. Your standard was 8W11, writing an argumentative essay and you indicated that you wanted more collaboration within your class so that your students could use OneNote to try to work together. Right, but everybody just kept trying to type in the content area and then calling me over to help them, and I couldn't be in all those places at once. I kept repeating the same directions again, and nobody listens, and I really... Hey, hey hang on just a second. So what I hear you saying is that your students were having trouble using OneNote to write, is that accurate? Yes, it's not just that, their rough drafts were awful. It's like they hadn't heard a word I'd said. Well, now that we know where they need the most help, let's take a look at our coaching action plan and we can make some modifications to your learning activity. We know that your students will be working on this standard for the next few weeks, so we can make the adjustments now for future lessons. Okay, that, that's, a, that's wonderful. You know, I think that the more practice the students get with OneNote, the more familiar they'll be, and then it can even allow them to collaborate like outside of school. Now, within the standard, I need to focus on helping the students develop better counterclaims. Let's let those two continue to develop that action plan. This was an example of an effective peer coaching meeting where the standard and the learning activity were the focus. Will was showing Rachel clear steps on how to use technology as an enhancement rather than as the main tool. So now you know how to effectively hold a peer coaching meeting. Ooh, look, a book on how to narrate videos. 